In this video, I'm going to be showing you a Revit plugin that allows you to create shadow studies and shadow analysis. It's called Shadow Color and it allows you to apply different colored shadows to different buildings in Revit. And it also has a lot of functionality in terms of export where you can export individual images, you can uh, run studies for a whole day or a month, and then also you can export the GIFs and even arrange images for your shadow studies on a sheet. Let's go. So this plugin is called Shadow Color uh, and it's by the same creators that created Plannery, which is another Revit uh, plugin which I have reviewed in the past, so past year. Uh, if you want to check that video out, I'm just going to link it up in the cards above. Uh, and what's really great about that, now they have a student license, so if you're a student, you can use it absolutely for free, uh, which is really good for your student projects. Uh, now for Shadow Color, if you want to check this out if you want to download it and install it there is a free trial and I'm just going to be linking that up in the cards above too. Now before we actually jump into Revit I would just quickly like to ask you to check out my website BalkanArctic.com I'm going to link it up just below this video in the description and then also up in the cards above that's where you can find all of my Revit courses I've got over 140 hours of content and I'm adding more each month. Uh, now apart from my courses you can also find some some customized ready-to-go Revit templates. You can find some really high quality Revit families, realistic Revit families, and we also have a plugin which might interest you. Okay, so now without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And as you can see here, we have this site plan, site project. This is actually a CAD import of an entire site. Now I'm just going to be using a site plan and in order to use shadow color you first have to find a site plan view. You want to make sure you crop that view because we want to have some boundaries inside of where we're creating those images and then also naturally you want to turn on the shadows. Uh, now to set up the kind of the sun settings you can always go here to sun settings and you can make sure you customize all of that so you have the correct location and also the correct time and date for your uh, shadow analysis so let's okay out of this and now if you have installed shadow color it's going to be available here on the add-ins tab and something that they really like is the fact that it's here hidden away and it's not just another tab that's kind of there i don't like to have this crowded with many plugins so I like the fact that it's here under add-ins so anyways I'm just going to start shadow color here and this is how that looks like now first we want to add the elements so you click here on add element it brings you back to Revit so first I'm just going to click on this site uh, that we have here then that's going to bring up uh, shadow color back and here you can see now we can add more elements now here it just copied the name of this import we can go here to add element and then let's add this building here then let's go back to shadow color. Now here, what we can do is we can actually change the color. Now this is actually referring to the color of the shadow. So I can click here and then I can apply a different color. So for example, I can go with orange or you can kind of use the, the, the color picker like this. I'm just going to click on orange. And then also here you can actually customize the opacity. See here, so I can put it at 70%, for example, if I want that. Okay, let's now add the final element, which is going to be this building here and once we have all of those there now you can see we have that uh, approved again this is just copying the names of this massing here so let's make this blue and then also let's make this 80 percent uh, shadow Okay, so once we have that, you can actually change uh, the position. So basically, which shadow is going to be overlapping which shadow. Of course, when you add opacity uh, or when you give it a little bit of transparency, that's not going to matter as much. Uh, but anyways, uh, for now, let's just give it a quick test and see what we have here. So I'm just going to go here to preview image it's going to create this image here. Now, as you can see, the images aren't inside of Revit yet, uh, but they're here and then you can preview them and then we can see here, this is casting shadow there, this is casting shadow here. So uh, it's giving us all of this information and as you can see, it's adding color to that and the rest of the buildings have this kind of gray uh, shadow. 
So uh, that's kind of the, the basic setup. Now, of course, we have the option to uh, first here for each of these elements, we can save the style. So if we're happy with the color and uh, the outline perhaps or something like that, we can save that style and then we can load it in later on. Uh, here we have the option to set up the color, which we have already covered. Here we can change this so it can be either color uh, like this or it can be as view so as the kind of the shadows were in a rabbit or we can actually make them invisible so some objects or some buildings you, you can set them up not to cast shadows and then finally here we have the basically the outline so you can set up the outline and then it's going to give a certain outline uh, here so that's uh, 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 an additional option that we have so for example if you want the outline here for this one I can turn it on and I can set the color to be just orange uh, and then also let me go back here to Revit and I just want to change the sun settings a little bit so let's change this to 4 p.m. let's see what that does so yeah the shadows are now a bit longer and now if I go back here to shadow color I can run another preview and let's see what that looks like and this is what that looks like. As you can see here, now we have that shadow that has an outline. Uh, now here we can control actually the width of that outline. So we have that ability as well. Now we can also add a site. So what this gives us as an option. So if I just select this site here, so basically the property line. And then if I go back here, you're going to see that here we have another checkbox and, a, and another color. So for example, in this case, uh, what I can do is I can add another color here like red and what this will do is wherever we have shadow inside of that site it's going to be red so we have that ability just to uh, add a bit more information kind of graphically uh, to the to the images that we're creating. Now here uh, we have some overall settings so you can turn on uh, line widths and then you can uh, play around with that. You can also uh, adjust the shadow intensity here so kind of an overall shadow intensity if you want to customize that uh, and also here we have the hidden elements do you want them hidden or, or, or not. And then finally we have the option to include area calculation reports so basically calculating the area where the, uh, the, the shadows are being cast, which is um, also important information from the model. So anyways, uh, once we have done or ran our shadow analysis and once we're happy uh, with the analysis and with the kind of the, the color setup and adjustment, then we can either export or save the project. So we have uh, numerous different uh, versions here for exporting. So we can export either a single image or we have the option to export a time interval. Now I'm just going to show you a couple of options. So here, let's go with a single day. Uh, and then we can here set up the date. Let's go with the sixth. Uh, so that's June, I think. And then for time, we can go from 9 a.m. till, let's change this to something like 3 p.m. Uh, so we can have a uh, an hourly time interval uh, here it's just going to say how many frames so if I change this to 4 uh, p.m. it's going to be 8 frames uh, and then export mode so it can either be a file or it can be on a sheet so first let's just export it as a file here you can set up the image quality I'm just going to save it as uh, medium uh, you have the option to add superposition image so basically it's just going to show you where there is most shadow during the day I think this is a really good uh, option that we have and then also we have a, a gif uh, animation uh, which I also find really cool uh, and there we go so we can also do shadow area calculation I'm not going to do that now and also here we have the layout that's for placing it on a sheet we're going to be doing that a bit later so for now let's just export this and here we have to pick out the folder I'm just going to uh, create a new folder here and let's call this shadow study perhaps Okay, open that folder up and let's select that folder. And now it's just going to uh, generate those eight images. 
and this is the result that we get. So as you can see here, we have individual images which we can view. So that that looks like this, and then you can just toggle through those images. Uh, also here we have uh, that GIF. So as you can see, it's just a little animation as how the shadows are moving throughout the day. And then finally here we have everything kind of superimposed and overlaid. So we can see that there are uh, most shadows kind of happening here and here and so on. So I think this also gives us some valuable uh, information. Uh, now, apart from uh, exporting images like this outside of the project, we also have the uh, option to uh, export images inside of the project. So what I'll do here uh, is I'll just set the time interval to something smaller. So let's go here with uh, 12 p.m. so that gives us four frames and then uh, let's save this on a sheet and then I'll just save it uh, with this configuration I can pick out the sheet here and then also I'll just let's see yeah I'll let me just set the quality to low just to make things quicker and then let's hit export and once it's done, it's going to open up a sheet where we have those images placed on the sheet. And then below that, we have the date and time for each of these images. So I think this is really, really powerful the way it just lays it out for you. So there you go. That's the tutorial on the uh, Shadow Color uh, plugin. Uh, thank you for watching. Now, if you want to get uh, access to my Revit project files, you can find those on my Patreon page. I'm going to link it up just below this video in the description and then also up in the cards above. That's where I upload all of my Revit project files. I've got over 400 files so far and I'm adding more after each video. Thank you for watching guys. Make sure to check out my website balkanarctic.com for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.